Picking up the uh, reconciliation bill to right. apparently fix the Senate health care bill. Well, there's been a lot of talk in there, Congressman, about unfunded liabilities, a term many Americans may not be familiar with. What, what is an unfunded liability? De it's debt. It's promises the government is making to people that it cannot afford. It's empty promises. And the unfunded liabilities last year for the federal government was $62.9 trillion. This year, $76 trillion. So as of right now, the U.S. government has promised benefits okay. to people That's through right. entitlements that are $76 trillion above, Overfunded, what, above what, what we can pay. What, above what taxes are bringing, what taxes are bringing in. That's exactly right. How much right. is that per American household? Do you know? Well, just for Medicare alone, it's $433,000 per household. So that's just for Medicare alone if we don't get our handle around the situation. So we're talking, you know, hundreds of thousand dollars per household just to fill in the gap between what money's coming in and what money we promise will go out. Okay, and this is before we pass a health care bill. Yeah, that's, that's the existing structure. That's, that's the current state of the play before you create this new entitlement. Okay, now, a couple of weeks ago, the uh, Congressional Budget Office scored uh, President Obama's fiscal 2011 right. budget. Hasn't got a lot of publicity, but I put down the numbers here in terms of deficits. Right. Uh, we got $1.412 trillion last year, $1.5 trillion this year. The lowest it ever goes is $724 billion, then it starts going back up, as you can see. You know these numbers yeah. real well. And, and what these numbers, uh, what really matters in these numbers is how big are these deficits relative to the size of our economy and our ability to pay for it. And under the president's own definitions, they're unsustainable. They literally crash the U.S. economy if these kinds of deficits that he's proposing persist. And under the plan that he's proposing, on the horizon long term, we don't see a decrease in deficits, but an increase. No, so all those unfunded liabilities, all that debt I've been telling you about, is before you pass this budget. That's if, if, if we don't pass the budget. If you pass the Obama budget, it just gets worse. He doubles the debt in five years and triples it in ten. In 2008, the last year President Bush was in office, the deficit was $458 billion. Under President Obama's budget, will there ever be a deficit that low again? No, and when the last year Republicans controlled Congress, the deficit was $164 billion. So, look, we got to acknowledge Republicans didn't do things right either. But we're talking orders of magnitude now that are uncomparable as far as the debt and the deficits that are being piled up right now. Okay, one of your colleagues in the hearing said that the CBO had reported that the Senate health care bill would actually decrease the deficit by $132 billion. Now, I know you believe that the CBO does honest work, but is that really a fair and accurate accounting of the Senate? No, because what you've given CBO is a manipulated piece of legislation to try and get that kind of a score by omitting a lots of costs, $371 billion for the doc fix, by double counting different kinds of revenue. What, what's the doc fix? The doc fix is to prevent doctor payments from getting cut 21 percent this year, 23 percent the next year, and there on after in Medicare. To prevent those cuts from occurring, which is because of this sort of flawed formula that exists, there's $371 billion that the president is proposing to spend. They had this in the legislation to begin with, but once they realized by having all this spending in the bill, it made CBO score it as a big deficit. So they took the spending out of the bill, and they're running it as separate legislation and passing it. And the point is, they're not measuring all the costs that are involved. So, so if you add the doc fix back in, this goes into deficit. This goes into deficit. I'll be walking through this in a minute. In a, we have a motion to instruct right now coming up, and I'll bring up a chart. Jeb Henschling and I are going to bring up a chart to, to untangle this web here to show just how this thing cre creates a deficit. So, so bottom line, Congressman, last question. They pass this health care bill. Not only do we have the $1.2 trillion deficit 10 years down the road, the Obama budget shows now it gets bigger. That's right. And, this, and this, the cost will explode under this new entitlement.